show next Friday. Uh, I haven't met Nathan yet, but we're both in that lineup. Look forward to talking to you, man. Get to know you. Um, doesn't seem very genuine when I'm saying it on stage, does it? <laughs> it is. It is. It's good. Uh, I got some notes here. We're going to go over some, some, new, some newer stuff. It's having fun with it. Um, Nathan was talking about you know, comedy in general. Uh, I got into comedy for two reasons. One, I wanted to tell jokes to my friends and family, right? Uh, and also, I wanted to tell jokes to strangers, of course. And uh, I'm all out of friends and family. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are here. It uh, really means a lot to me. Really means a lot. Let's see, I got here in this little book of jokes. Has anybody ever told you that you're beating a dead horse? I, I've been told that, that I've been beating a dead horse. And sure, you know what, I admit it. Maybe I over-explained something. But still, I think beating a dead horse would be far more alarming than just over-explaining something. Ah, uh, yes! This gentleman just said something twice. This reminds me of the time I saw someone beating on a dead horse. It's the same thing. It evoked all the same emotions for me. You guys are great. Uh, my girlfriend is part Chinese. It's important for this. I came home early from work one day and she wasn't expecting me. I think you might all know where this is going. Uh, I walked in on something that I didn't want to see. My girlfriend was doing white face. Yep, white face, you heard it. And honestly, I was shocked. I was shocked, like she didn't know that would hurt me, like I'm a, I'm a white person. You know, she was like, Michael, it's a, it's a moisturizer. I said, save it, racist. She's like, I just want my skin to be softer. I said, your bags are packed. Grab a blanket, it's cold out. It's early spring, it's really cold out there. You can come back in a few weeks, trade in for a lighter blanket. You know how spring is. It gets hot, it gets cold. Man, you always knew how spring was, so good. You were the best at knowing how spring was. I miss you so much. You look great, by the way. Your skin looks very soft. And you guys are fantastic. The joke just kind of tapers off into the somewhere. <laughs> a lot of spiders here in Oregon. Uh, <laughs> guys, you're guys on top of everything. I love it. You're great. <laughs> spiders, am I right, you guys? Uh, people are worried about black widows, but don't worry. Uh, in the last century, there's been one death from a black widow. <laughs> I feel like she knew the person. <laughs> she knew the person. It's true. Um, what you do if you get bit by a black widow, you decide right then and there, you know, am I gonna go to the hospital or not, all right? You, 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 you can't choose later, that's what I'm saying. Choose right then and there. Most likely you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I think there's like 2,000 bites reported a year. They're gonna be fine. Uh, if you get bit by a brown recluse, what you're supposed to do is take a picture of the part of your body that got bit, and then you frame it and put it on your wall because that part of your body is never gonna look the same. <laughs> what you do. Safety. Uh, I was at work. I was doing some PVC pipe. I get, gotta get some plumbing done. Um, with PVC pipe, you have to use a primer and a glue. It's a, it's a very heavy chemical concoction. And if you don't properly ventilate your workspace, you'll be breathing in those chemicals and, and you don't want to do that. And I did a lot of that on accident. Not on purpose. And uh, I got really high. I did. I got really high, and it was great. It was great. I mean, you guys, it was like, poof, like it was amazing. And uh, I didn't choose to like it. That's the thing, though. Like that's a shot that my brain called without any discussion with me. Guess I am my brain. I like being high on glue. I like it. Uh, kids, if you're still in the room, don't get high on glue. All right. We'll end on that for that joke. It's great. Uh, 
talk about dogs a little bit. That's always a fun thing to talk about. Animals are just great to incorporate in jokes because they just, it's really, you really hit a soft spot. And, and you see it all the time in public. I was at the grocery store and the, this couple walked in on a mission and the guy, like, they came right to the, the whole checkout. It was a busy day. The, the guy just started yelling at the checkout. He said, someone left their dog in the car outside. It was summer. Okay, sure. Someone left their dog in the car. And he was so proud of himself. And luckily, the guy who owned the car was in line. He said, yeah, it's my dog, my car. Uh, the car is running. The AC is on. He's totally fine. And everybody just kind of, like, went back to what they were doing. And... That couple, they didn't care about that dog. I know they didn't give a shit about that dog. Because when the guy said the dog was fine, they weren't like, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness the dog is okay. They got really defensive. They're like, well, you should be more careful. It's like, about what? Everything's fine. <laughs> You're stupid. You didn't think this through at all. And I was inspired by the gesture. I thought they were so brave. So now whenever I see a dog in the car, I do the right thing. I wait by the vehicle. I wait for the owner to get back. I said, hey, how's it going? I just want to make sure everything's okay, you murderer. <laughs> you pet killer. They're like, it's, it's like 55 degrees out here. I said, yeah? Hmm. Sounds like you were sloppy in your attempt to kill this dog. <laughs> Not on my watch. A couple at the store, they sucked, okay, that's the point. They sucked, it was stupid. All my jokes tonight, they were just ending on like, oh, it's over? Okay, <laughs> next joke. <laughs> that's how you're supposed to do it, that's how the pros do it. <laughs> um, let's see here. <sighs> Confessions, there's a big one. You're not gonna like it, I like plastic bags. <laughs> All right, I said it. I like plastic bags that people say, what? They say, get out of town, Michael. That's what they tell me. Just last night, someone told me that. Get out of town. I said, you know, it's not as bad as it sounds. I like plastic bags for one reason, that they're better than paper bags. That's all. <laughs> Simple reason. I like carrying my groceries, not dropping them. You guys, listen. You get a gallon of milk, four plastic bags, okay? <laughs> Don't short yourself on this. They're free. There's no cost whatsoever when you grab those plastic bags. Half gallon of milk, four plastic bags. Don't short yourself, all right? You get home, you put those groceries in the fridge, and you put those plastic bags right outside where they belong. You put them in the park. You can put them in your yard, really wherever they end up. <laughs> anyways, anyways, one day I was doing my uh, daily dump of plastic bags into the river. I was doing one of my favorite pastimes. It's when you take the handles of the bags and you fasten them around batteries and you parachute them like little troopers. My little troopers. <laughs> it's so sad watching them go away. Going off the battle out there against the sea creatures. It's devastating for these guys. It's, uh, it's not as bad as it sounds. It's not. It's just not. Because for every bag that floats on the surface of the water, I go down to the pet shelter and I donate a dollar. So. <laughs> Thank you. But for every bag that sinks, which is basically all of them, I go down to that pet shelter and I slap a puppy. <laughs> Not enough to hurt the puppy, but definitely enough to hurt its feelings. <laughs> Where is this going? Nowhere. Just dark, terrible things. It's great. But for every puppy I slap, I go on down to the, the soup kitchen and I donate a loaf of bread. So. Yeah, thank you. Wow, genuine, <laughs> genuine applause. But for every person at the soup kitchen that asks me for money, I go back down to the pet shelter and I slap another puppy. And I'm going to end on that. Thank you so much, Fiends Clubhouse. <laughs>